Hello and welcome to the third video in the Baselight Tools series. Today we're going to have a look at fixing chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration is when a lens fails to focus all of the colors to the same point. So for example, in this shot here, if we zoom in, you can see that we have some purple fringing on the edges of the leaves, contrasting against the sky. This is quite common and it happens on quite a lot of cameras and lenses. There's a couple of ways in Bayside which we can try to reduce this effect. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a grade layer using the keyboard shortcut P. Then I'm gonna go ahead, I've got my hue shift operator here by default, but I'm gonna go up to my curve grade, right click, and change this operator type and insert a compressor gamut operator. Okay, and you can see that changes here. Alternatively, I could go up to the insert menu and insert my compressed gamut strip here. But the reason why I'm adding it into an inside outside grading layer is so that I can uh, use this compressed gamut in conjunction with a shape. So I'm not gonna use the compressed gamut as a separate strip. Delete that there. Okay, so now I've inserted my compressed gamut. What does this tool do? So uh, really simply, it just removes strange color effects. So you can see that we have a chroma threshold slider here, and we have a cyan, a magenta, and a yellow limit. Also, we have a gamut toggle, which I'm gonna go ahead and change from Rec 2020 to Rec 709. You'll see down here as well, we have an extended ranges. Um, if we turn this on, it will give us more scope. If you want a more aggressive limit, turn on the extended ranges and you'll be able to desaturate these colors more. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the sign limit with this reset button. Okay, so I just deleted my shape layer so we can start. I'm going to uh, bump my chroma threshold all the way up to one. And you can see that we're already affecting the greens and the yellows in our image. So I'm going to leave that all the way up to one. I'm going to zoom in on my image so we can have a look at the part of the image we want to affect. And now I'm going to drag my magenta limit all the way up to the top. Now if I bypass this with function command F11, you can see especially on the edges of the lead there, we are seeing great reduction of that purple fringing. Now to make this even more, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our hue shift operator. You can see on the right hand side, you can saturate and desaturate certain hues. So we're gonna go ahead to the purple hue and we're just gonna, just gonna drag this down. Okay, now if we hit function command F11, you can see we've got a really nice reduction of those purple edges. Now, unfortunately, if we hit uh, function option F12 to zoom back out and we bypass with function command F11, you can see we've also affected the skin tones a lot. You can see her face changing a lot there. We've also desaturated a lot of the greens and yellows. So the way we're gonna fix this is we're gonna add a shape. Now, this is the prime reason why I do not add the compressed gamut as a separate strip, um, because I like to be able to add a shape to my inside outside layer. Most of the time, this is a spot fix. So to add a shape, I'm gonna hit the S key and I'm just gonna do a freehand shape. And I'm just gonna draw around the sky here. Okay, I'm gonna hit uh, O to see my overlay, shift O to toggle through, and add a bit of a feather. Okay, hitting O to turn the overlay off. Now if I bypass this layer with function command F11, you can see now the uh, majority of our image is remaining unchanged, which is great. But if we zoom in and we bypass, you can see that especially, especially on these uh, corners of the leaves here, we are having a significant reduction of that chromatic aberration, which is what we want. Cool guys, that is it. Um, simple combination of the compressed gamut tool and the hue shift combined with a shape. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any other fixes for this issue. If you like that video, uh, make sure to go over to Patreon and support me. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Cheers.